Good morning, everybody. I usually don't come on on Saturday. Buenos días a todos. Usualmente no, no hago nada los sábados. But I want to speak to you just for a couple of moments. Pero quiero hablarles por unos momentos. And I pray all is going well at your house. Y oro que todo esté bien en sus casas. This is my friend Eddie that's helping me again. Es mi amigo Eddie que me está ayudando otra vez. I have a special message for my friends in Mexico. Tengo un mensaje especial para mis amigos en México. Uh, over, hello, uh, Jesus. Uh, over, uh, over 20, about, about 18 years ago. <clears throat> Hace como 18 años. I began to travel Mexico. Empecé a viajar por México. I have preached uh, more in Mexico than uh, any outside country. I've been on uh, many different places in Mexico, Cornavaca, Mexico City, Tijuana, Rosa, Rosarito, Obigón, Oaxaca, uh, and New, I can't pronounce it, it's uh, New Laredo. And many others that I'm sure that I missed. And when I started traveling there 18 years ago, the Lord gave me a word for Mexico. And the Lord said, I'm going to take Mexico and put it on a platter. And I'm going to show it off to the world. Y lo voy a presumir al mundo. This is what I'm doing in Mexico. Esto es lo que estoy haciendo en México. And today I was listening to Chuck Pierce. Yo he estado escuchando a Chuck Pierce. And uh, they were uh, doing different uh, videos from uh, different parts of Mexico. Y estaban haciendo diferentes videos de diferentes partes de México. And the Holy Spirit uh, had, uh, reminded me of the vision that I had 18 years ago for Mexico. Y el Espíritu Santo me recordó de la visión que tuve hace muchos años de México. My wife and I pray every day for Mexico, the United States, and Canada to become greater friends. Y mi esposa y yo oramos todos los días para que México, los Estados Unidos y Canadá se hagan mejores amigos. And what the Lord spoke to me today. Y lo que el Señor me dijo hoy. I remember when uh, about two months ago I was... Uh, uh, driving with my friends in Tijuana, and I saw a lot of empty, large warehouses. And they were warehouses that were empty because uh, countries left there. So something stirred up within me this morning again. I make a declaration in the name of Jesus that companies from all over the world are going to come into Mexico and fill those empty warehouses now here's something that I'm declaring and decreeing and believing God. That when those companies come into Mexico, they will pay a higher wage. That they no longer will take advantage of the Mexican people. And that they would give them double, triple to what they usually make in Mexico. Because the Mexican people are hard workers. Now I make a declaration. There are Mexican people that are living in the United States. That are going to move back to Mexico. <clears throat> because they can make more money living in Mexico than they can living in the United States. 
porque podrán hacer más dinero viviendo en México que en los Estados Unidos. A friend of mine told me this story. <clears throat> y un amigo mío me dijo esta historia. He said, my sister said, come to America. The wages are $12, $15 an hour. Dijo, mi hermana me dijo, vente a América. Los sueldos son 12, 15 dólares la hora. So he came. Así que vino. But then my friend said to me, my sister failed to tell me about the price of the rent. <laughs> Pero después me dijo, mi hermana se le olvidó decirme el precio de la renta. And he started laughing about that. So I'm making a declaration. That people, there are going to be Mexican people here in the United States. That are going to go back to Mexico. They're going to make as much money or more in Mexico than they did here in the United States. And because of the rent and the cost of living is cheaper in Mexico. And these people are going to start opening churches in their countries. Y esa gente a abrir en sus they became Christian here and now they're going to go back and they're going to be used of God to open up many churches in Mexico. They're going to get homesick for Mexico. Van a extrañar sus hogares en México. And God is going to use many of them to start churches, apostolic centers, and great move of the Holy Spirit. Y Dios usará a muchos de ellos para empezar iglesias y centros apostólicos y gran mover del Espíritu Santo. I release that word in the name of the Lord. Suelto esa palabra en el nombre del Señor. I was preaching somewhere in Mexico maybe eight years ago. And the Lord helped me to give me a word to this pastor. And I said to him, somebody from the United States is going to come and buy the land and build you a church. And about six months ago, they emailed me and showed me the picture of that church. Y hace como seis meses me mandaron un correo electrónico y me enseñaron la foto de esa iglesia. I'm telling you. Estoy diciendo. Families are going to leave the United States, go to Mexico. Los Estados Unidos se irán a México. They're going to come back with a message from heaven. Y regresarán con un mensaje del cielo. God is going to bless them financially. Dios los bendecirá financieramente. And their entire families are going to come to Christ and help them build a church. Families that were not speaking to each other. I am going to bring them together, says the Lord. And they're going to do a great work in the kingdom of God in Mexico. Father, I ask you to seal this word by the power of the Holy Spirit. And I thank you in Jesus' name. And not only are some of these people going to build churches, but they're going to build businesses. And they're going to put Mexican people to work. Some of the things that they learned here in the United States, they're going to bring it to Mexico and they're going to help each other. Viva Mexico. <laughs> Viva Mexico. Well, God bless you. We love you guys. We pray God's blessing upon you. I think I've been home for almost a month. I've not been home in this house for a month in 20 years. 
He estado en casa ya por casi un mes y no he estado en casa por un mes en casi más de 20 años. But God is doing great things. <clears throat> Pero Dios está haciendo grandes cosas. And we're about <clears throat> to walk into our finest hour. Y estamos a punto de entrar a nuestra mejor hora. And I bless you today in Jesus' name. Y te bendigo hoy en el nombre de Jesús. If you believe this is a word of the Lord, share it with your friends. And let's pray together that God will do a fast work. God bless you. And somebody mail me a taco for Mexico, por favor. Okay, bye-bye. We love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye.